action. When I was in boot camp, I got slapped harder than I ever been slapped in my entire life. You have to understand the context of boot camp. There's like 90 men in a confined space and it's over weeks at a time. And so when you have a bunch of men in a confined space, you got a lot of energy. There are sad people, angry people. You just have a lot of men with a whole lot of feelings. And when you get this type of energy in every space, when there's a lot of men with idle time, you get physicality. And that's a main aspect of being a man. Masculinity is parallel to physicality. And so we started having these slap boxing competitions. That's what we did. And so for me in my division, I was division 255. In my division, I was real nice with the slap boxing skills. I was getting busy. But 254, they had their own slap box champion, and his name was Maimon. They called him Big Maimon. Big Maimon was a mammoth of a man. He was a huge person with sausage-like fingers. And so they it was 255 versus 254. And I go back there in the back to go slap box Big, Big Maimon. Me slap boxing. As soon as we start, he's faster than I thought he was. Big Maimon was faster than I thought he was going to be for a huge man. He was really fast. Big Maimon cocked back, put them sausage fingers across my face, and I was whole. Whoa! I mean, it really made me understand that I was in a fight. It felt like that man punched me. <laughs> My response was, I had to just be as quick as possible, and I just started lighting Big Maimon up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just slapping the shit at Big Maimon. And so this went on. I don't remember who won or who lost. I mean, he slapped me so hard. If I can't say that I won definitively, then that kind of tells you that I think I had gotten the shit slapped out of me. That's all I can say about that. Masculinity and ego will not tell you or will not allow me to say that I lost because Big Maimon told me, he told me that he ain't never been slapped like the way I slapped him. So thank you, Big Maimon, for giving me a wake up call to what it means to be a man. Men fight. That's what men do. The most scariest man in the whole history of the world is the man who refuses to fight because that person right there has no idea what their true power or potential is. They were afraid of uh, adversity. Part of being a man is we have to go face adversity. We have to face challenges to be strong. We won't have honest conversations about masculinity versus femininity because women want to be seen as equals. But I'll tell you what, every woman in our society, they believe that a man is supposed to be a protector. No, there are very few women who have the ability to even try to protect the man. And they won't even try to because they don't believe that's their duty. And so if we can have an honest conversation, starting with physicality, women are not expected to be physical and men are expected to be physical. That tells you immediately there is no equality and the burden of protection for all of society, the burden of protection for all of humanity falls squarely on my shoulders and all the woman's shoulders. If you can say that honestly, woman, if you can open your mouth and use your words to say, men, please protect me. I can't protect you. That lets you know immediately you're not the protector. I'm the protector. And you as the feminine force, your job is to be my complimentary piece. Feminism is an idea that is destroying the fabric of our society because the only true feminists are men. Why are men the only true feminists? Because men are the only people who can protect femininity. <laughs> there is no group of women that can protect femininity. Let's have a scenario. If you have 100 men walking down the street coming at you, you're like, holy Christ, what are these men finna go do? Every man, woman, and child is finna go inside, lock the door because they don't want to deal with this group of 100 men. If you see a hundred women coming down the street, it's a parade. <laughs> you think, like, are they finna throw some beads? Are they finna show some boobies? What are they finna do? Because you know they don't have the capacity to cause the damage that men can do. No one is afraid of femininity and everybody is afraid of masculinity. And these are polar opposites, but we have different contributions to our society. We need women and we need men, but most importantly, we need women to be honest. We need every woman in our society to take the oath. Raise your hand, say, I am a woman and I need men. And then we need every man in our society to take the oath also say, hi, I'm a man and I'll protect women. If we can come to that balance, then we'll have the most wonderful place in the whole entire world. If men don't have the courage to engage in the uncomfortable conversation with women and say, hey, look, I'm big and I'm strong and I will use all my power to create the most bestest world for you, I need you to work with me to help me accomplish my goals. If men do not have the courage to clearly communicate what their goals are, then we're going to continue to have a lack of leadership in our society. But it comes from men choosing to be good leaders, and a good leader has to know how to follow. You learn all this stuff in the military, you learn all this stuff in male-dominated spaces, because in male-dominated spaces, you're not allowed to be no little bitch. If you behave in a way that's dishonorable, then someone is going to check you. <laughs> someone is going to make you behave in a way that is honorable. 
because you cannot be around men and be passive aggressive. They're going to ask you a question. Hey, what did you say? Hey, why did you do that? And that's called checking. And when you get checked, you have to respond in either an aggressive way or you're going to be a little bitch. And I need the American men to stop behaving like little bitches. If that offends you, then you should be offended. Come do something. How about that? But we have to understand the physical, the physical aspect of being a man. The exact same way I have to understand the feelings aspect of being a woman. Women lead with their feelings. They have thoughts and emotions and they have to be compassionate, understanding and empathetic to who you are as a person. But in that exchange, I need you to be compassionate and empathetic to my physicality. Oh, my man relates to the world in a physical way. And anything that I do think or say, it's going to make him respond with physicality, not to me. But to the world, if I create any type of adversity, this man has to fight for me because that's the dynamic between masculinity and femininity. And as soon as we stop playing, as soon as we stop pretending, we can have honest conversations on how we save America. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.